Hello children, hope you all are fine and have practiced addition sums in the book. So today in this video, I am going to teach you subtraction. Subtraction, subtraction means taking away. The numbers being subtracted is called the subtrahend. The number from which it is being subtracted is called the minute and the result is called the difference. For example, 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. So this number 8 is called the minute and 5 the number from which it is being subtracted is called the subtrahend and the answer which we are getting 3 is called the difference. Like addition, in subtraction also, we will start doing subtraction using the number line. Look children. Like addition, in subtraction also, we will start doing subtraction using the number line. Look children, this is a number line. I have done the number line from 0 to 10. Let's begin with an easy example. 6 minus 4. What is 6 minus 4? Using the number line, what we do is take the first number. What is the first number? 6. Find it in the number line. Here. We are minusing, means subtracting. If we are subtracting, we have to go backwards. If this was plus sign, we go forward. But because it is minus n, we have to go backwards. Now, 6 minus, how many jumps we are going to make? 4. So, we are going to jump back 4 times. From 6, we will jump backwards. 1, 2, 3, 4. What number do we get? 2. Therefore, the answer is 2. So, 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. Let's try one more example. Let's try one more example. What is 18 minus 5? So, here I have drawn the number line from 10 to 20. See the first number. What is the first number? 18. So, find it in the number line 18. How many jumps we are going backward? 5. So, from 18 we will start 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have finished here. We started at 18 and finished on 13. So, the answer is 13. So, 18 minus 5 is equal to 13. Always remember children, start with the first number. First, find it on the number line. See first whether it is plus sign or minus sign. Whether you have to go forward or backward. If it is plus sign, we have to go forward. If it is minus sign, we have to go backward. And that is subtraction using the number line. Now, we next we come to subtraction of two digit numbers. While subtracting two digit numbers, always write the greater number above the smaller number. For example, 65 minus 22. So, see these two numbers, which is the greater number? 65. And which is the smaller number? 22. So, what we have to do? We will arrange these numbers in a column, that is, six, that is tens and ones column. And we will see the greater number, 65 is there. We will write the 65 above number 22. 
So while subtracting, what we have to do? First, subtract the ones. Five ones minus two ones. Five minus two is how much? Five minus two is three. So write three in the ones place. Now subtract the tens. Six tens minus two tens. Six minus two is four. So write four in the tens place. So the answer is 65 minus 22 is, is equal to 43. Let's do one more example. Ninety three minus sixty one. We have to arrange these two numbers in a column, in a tens and ones column. Which is the greater number? Ninety three. So you have to write greater number about the smaller number. So ninety three minus sixty one is how much? So first. Subtract the ones. Three ones minus one. How much you are getting? Two ones. Write two in the ones place. Now what we have to do? We have to subtract tens column. So nine tens minus six tens. Nine tens minus six tens is how much? Three tens. So you will write three in the tens place. So the answer is 93 minus 61 is equal to 32. Subtraction of two digit numbers with regrouping. In addition what we did? In addition regrouping is known as carryover and in subtraction regrouping is known as Borrowing. So what you have to do? For example, 82 minus 56. In this, first what we have to do is subtract the ones. Can we do 2 minus 6? No, we can't. So we need to get more ones from our tens. Now we have to regroup by taking away 1 ten from 8 tens. If we are taking 1 tens from 8 ones, now we are left with 7 tens. And 2 ones becomes 12. Now subtract 6 ones from 12. What is 12 minus 6? 12 minus 6 is 6. Write 6 under the 1's place. Now, from 7 tens, subtract 5 tens. What is 7 minus 5? 7 minus 5 is 2. So, write 2 under the 10's place. So, the answer is 82 minus 56 is, is equal to 26. So 26 is the answer. Let's do one more example. 54 minus 27. What we have to do? First we have to subtract the ones. 4 minus 7. Can we subtract 4 from 7? No, we cannot. So we need to get more ones from our tens. We have to regroup by taking away 1 from tens. So we are, if we are taking 1 from 5 tens, we are now left with 4. And this 4 ones becomes 14. 
So now subtract 7 ones from 14 ones. What is 14 minus 7? 7. So write 7 below the ones place. Now subtract the tens. Now 4 minus 2 is 2. So write 2 below the tens place. So the answer is 54 minus 27 is, is equal to 27. And that is subtraction with two digit numbers with regrouping or we can say with borrowing. Now children, we will come to the word problems. Example 1. On a tree, there were 57 birds and 35 flew away. How many birds were left on the tree? So like addition we did, we have to take out the solution. So what is the given problem? Number of birds on a tree, the number of birds flew away and what are we asked to find out? We have to find out how many birds were left on the tree. How can we find this out? By subtracting. So, write the solution. Number of birds on a tree. How many birds were there? There were 57 birds. So, we will write 50. 7. Now, how number of birds flew away? How many birds flew away? 35. So, 35. Now, arrange these two numbers in a column. Tens and ones. What we have to do? Write the greater number first. And below you will write the smaller number. You have to find the number of birds left on the tree. What we have to do? First we have to subtract the ones. 7 minus 5. 7 minus 5 is how much? 2. Then subtract the tens. 5 minus 3. 5 minus 3 is how much? 2. So, the answer is 22. So, we will write like this. Answer. That means answer is birds left on the tree. 22 birds. Let's do one more example. Out of 48 passengers in a bus, 16 got down at the bus stop. How many passengers are still there in the bus? To find it out, we have to do solution. Number of passengers in a bus. How many passengers were there in a bus? 48, right? 48. Number of passengers got down. How many passengers got down? 16, right? 16. So, we have to find out number of passengers still in the bus. What we have to do? We have to arrange these numbers in a Column, tens column and ones column. Write the greater number first, 48 and the smaller number, 16. 48 minus 16. We will subtract and see how much we are getting. We will minus and see how much we are getting. 
8 minus 6. 8 minus 6 is how much? 2. And 4 minus 1 is 3. So, number of passengers still in the bus is, is equal to 32. So, the answer is 32 passengers. So children, practice addition and subtraction sums in the understanding maths book as well as in the fun with mental maths book. Thank you children. God bless you.